today I'm going to be showing you how to make a button that changes its texture whenever you open or close, whenever you press it. Whenever you press it, the button's going to change its texture. And this example I'm using as an open and a close texture for a door. Um, to start, you're going to need two textures. I have an open texture and a closed texture. Um, that I just made up in Photoshop. You can create whichever ones you want. I'm going to open up VTF Edit. I'm going to click File, Import. I'm going to click, you're going to open up your VTF Textures. OK. We'll play them. You're going to cycle back and forth. You're going to File, Save, Name them whatever you want. I'm going to name it Open, Close. Click Save. Now I have two files. Now I'm going to open up the VTM file, the text file. I'm going to delete this. Uh, open up this text I have. It's in the description of the video. I put it in there. I'm gonna change this to my texture's name. Open, close. I'm gonna command Control S to save it. Close that. And now I'm going to take these two. I'm gonna put them in my materials folder for CSGO. Close that. I'm going to open Steam. Start. Start Hammer. Sorry, that took a minute. Uh, okay, I'm going to launch Hammer. And I'm going to make it a new world. Drag this out. Make it a little bit bigger. Browse and look for a skybox texture. Enter and I go to tools, make hollow. Select these faces. Browse and look for dev textures. Apply. I'm going to make just this bottom one a gray texture. Apply. Okay. Now, in the middle of the floor here, I'm going to make a door like this. smaller but here's my door oh, that's kind of small but I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger the door's a little bigger now uh, I'm gonna push Okay. okay, the door's a little bit bigger now. I'm going to do Control T. I'm going to type in Funk Door. You click Apply. Give it a name. Just Door. I'm going to say it's going to tell us the move direction. I'm just going to type in negative 90, which means it'll move straight up. Apply. Okay, uh, click on it one more time, go to flags, click on toggle, and click on touch opens. We don't want touch open, we only want buttons to be able to open it, so toggle. Um, then over here, we're going to make a button. Make it a little bit smaller, not, not as tall. Orange. Okay, on top of that, we're going to make our button. I'm 
Let's move this spot in gray. That, like so. Now push Control T and type in bunk button. Apply. Then name it door button. And click apply. And then in outputs, we're going to go. We're going to click add. We're going to click output named. Bunk pressed. Here we're going to put door, we're going to put all the way at the bottom toggle, apply. Now flags, I'm just going to use activates and don't move. Now we're going to add an entity to our level, you can put it anywhere, you just have to be next to the button. And we're going to put in in, we're going to type here in, Type your E and B toggle texture toggle. Click there. Go apply. We're gonna name it everyone door TT for texture toggle. Apply and target brushes. We're gonna click on door button. Um. Oh, I forgot. We want to make our button change. So we're going to add the texture, uh, browse, we're going to open, look up, open, close, there's our texture, apply, click fit so that we can see it. It's going to be a little bit squash on the side so we can see it clearly from up top. And on our button now, we're going to go back to it, we're going to click on outputs again, we're going to click add. My output named on pressed target entity means door texture toggle. And we're going to click. Oh, to show you guys where you this is website, which is linked in the description. This is the tables that show you what. So first is toggle then increment texture index, set texture index at output. So the outputs and referring to the website, we can see versus increment set texture index. Set texture index, apply. Then we go to add on pressed or TT, and then we click. Increment texture index. This. Apply. And add. And then on press. And then door button. Then add output. And then click over here. We're going to copy this. I'm going to paste it right here. I don't know why that's there. Okay, there we go. Uh, just check, make sure that this is right. No, these two are mixed up. Uh, so we need to add set texture index right here. We're going to add. Uh, less than sign, n greater than sign, and click apply. Okay, we needed that. Okay, and then from here, we're going to add one more entity, last one, and on here, we're going to do logic. And then underscore branch. Apply. And name it everyone door LG for logic LB for logic branch. Apply the initial value needs to be one and over here in outputs. Let me add on true target entity is named door TT. 
topical texture be this input set texture index and we want this to be zero and we're gonna add one more this is on false for toggle toggle or texture toggle should be this input set texture index and this should be one apply and then back over here one final thing last one we're going to click add my output named on pressed door logic branch this input toggle test and apply and then we can close that down and now we're ready to go so we're going to control s to save the map we're going to name it texture button toggle test or whatever you want to name it and then we're going to click FN, F9, make sure it's on full compile, HDR only, then click go. And now it's going to run, and I'll see you in CSGO. Welcome back to CSGO. And here we are, we have our button. These things aren't visible, but um, if we click on our button with E, you'll see it opens. And so we, we click back on it, you can see it closes, and you can click the open button to open it and click the close button to close it. The only reason that it wouldn't work is because it's on the, on the delay. And it's uh, pretty pretty intuitive. It's pretty nice. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, bye.